I am bitching about um, fake Republican feminism. I think it's something we got to talk about, especially as um, Liz Cheney, a representative Cheney of Wyoming, is trying to sort of make her name with the January 6th commission and doing a good job. Granted, she has bigger cojones, she has bigger ovaries than all other Republicans. But given that it is the party of, you know, little dicks, like it's not saying a lot when she sticks her neck out because everyone else in her party is a fat coward. That being said, she's sort of, you know, she's dying on this hill, literally, because her her numbers are not good in Wyoming, of I'm going to actually try and hold President Trump accountable for the January 6th coup attempt. And I think that's, it is admirable. It is good. Another Republican, Adam Kissinger, is not even seeking re-election. So he's just kind of, this is literally his last stand. He'll be a lobbyist in uh, six months. But Liz Cheney has a very interesting way of going about this, especially in the most recent uh, hearings that we're going to talk about. But she had a very long closing uh, remark. And I cherry picked, if you can tell what she's trying to do, I cherry picked these moments where she basically is um, heralding the women who've testified. And a lot of them, yes, are Republicans who've testified before the committee and um, talks about women's suffrage and even quotes Margaret Thatcher, you know, that just like champion of women's rights slash warmonger um, who, you know, passed a bunch of austerity programs and, you know, heralded in incredible amounts of poverty uh, in the UK. And then, of course, began a war on Argentina, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Here she is. Liz Cheney really trying to just like mm, speak to nobody here with these comments that are, mm, she wouldn't call them feminists, but here they are. As Will Cassidy Hutchinson, she sat here alone, took the oath and testified before millions of Americans. She knew all along that she would be attacked by President Trump and by the 50, 60, and 70-year-old men who hide themselves behind executive privilege. But like our witnesses today, she has courage, and she did it anyway. Cassidy, Sarah, and our other witnesses, including Officer Caroline Edwards, Shea Moss, and her mother, Ruby Freeman, are an inspiration to American women and to American girls. In this room, in 1918, the Committee on Women's Suffrage convened to discuss and debate whether women should be granted the right to vote. This room is full of history, and we on this committee know we have a solemn obligation not to idly squander what so many Americans have fought and died for. Ronald Reagan's great ally, Margaret Thatcher, said this, let it never be said that the dedication of those who love freedom is less than the determination of those who would destroy it. Let me assure every one of you this, our committee understands the gravity of this moment, the consequences for our nation. We have much work yet to do, and we will see you all in September. <laughs> yes queen um so that's liz cheney and and look those women and men everyone who testified has shown a certain amount of courage absolutely and i would agree with her especially the young women like cassidy hutchinson who by the way the reason they don't announce who the witnesses are going to be and that it was cassidy hutchinson is because your own party has made it okay to specifically troll women online and send them death threats and, oh, I don't know, maybe, like, actually arrive at their home. Like, do you understand that that's, that's your party? That's your entire political party now. And I know you're trying to speak to, a uh, God, the New York Times editorial board. Like, who are you? Like, you're, like, fucking the head of CNN. I don't even, Maggie Haberman. Like, who... 
Who are you really talking to right now? And I and, and look, I've been asking myself this question for a very long time. Why in the hell do women vote for the Republican Party? Why? And especially young women, because young women are generally and this is in a different time, you know, when we had, a you know, abortion rights and uh, bodily autonomy rights. You would, I, t- I spoke to young Republican women and they were like, yeah, I think we need more women in leadership in the Republican Party. And I'm always like, go you, you know, like you go, go forth and change your party. And then fucking Donald Trump gets elected. And a lot of women are going along with it. A lot of them to my face are like, we just need a big, strong man to take control. And, and so y'all have a lot of work to sort out, but don't start bringing in all women and these young women and all and these like, oh, and these horrible men who are just like using executive privilege and like, no, 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 you're not part of an actual feminist movement. Why? Because you're fucking anti-choice. That's why. Because you are horribly, horribly right wing and you do not actually believe in human rights for all people. And, and to prove that, here is what you were saying after the SCOTUS ruling on Dobbs. Liz Cheney, on Twitter, I've always been strongly pro-life. Today's ruling by the Supreme Court returns the power to the states and the people of the states to address the issue of abortion under state law. Amazing. Bless, bless, your, bless your heart. Yeah, it's all about states' rights. That's what, I mean, it's really about states' rights. Each And, and yet, huh, funny how the same people who do not think that Donald Trump legitimately lost the 2020 election, the thing that you believe, the thing that you're now talking about, they also want voting voting to be a states' rights issue. They want electors to be selected by legislators. Yeah, let's just get le- legislatures to select who the electors are instead of, you know, the people. That'll be great. We'll send different slates. That's that's under the guise of states' rights as well. So what are you actually saying? We're living in the biggest rollback of women's rights in a generation. And Liz Cheney's up there going, we need to remember the suffragists just as I support anti-choice measures. No, no, fuck you. Go make your fucking stand. Let's, let's ride this shit out. Help the Democrats if we can at all. And you go think about your goddamn party. Don't expose me. Don't put it on us. Don't don't lie about who your fucking party is. And you know what? And this is what I'm going to get into later. Don't put it on Trump, man. Stop putting all this shit on Trump. Stop it. I'm so done with everyone. Oh, well, Trump. Meh, meh. No, man. Trump was a Trojan horse for every single Republican. Cheney voted with Trump 90% of the time. No patience for that. Absolutely none. You will not, my God, if you're a young Republican woman, like I, like, again, bless you. I hope you guys can all go form an alternate reality where this isn't your party. Um, But until then, it sure as shit is. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.